All right, so this is for my friend Brian, who recently broke in a tip off of his airbrush, uh, a mas master airbrush, same one, uh, model G22 probably, because I had given him that one. I sold it to him because he was not previously working with one. But this one, this is... This is uh, the same one you have, which, as you said to me, you keep breaking your tip. And I will show you um, how to clean it, as well as how to not break the tip for these things, because uh, these are cheap. These, these are pretty cheap. I mean, they're um, more of a lower end models, uh, and it's fine. They work well. I've used one before uh, for a while and loved it. it was, this was actually the very first airbrush I ever purchased and it came with a little compressor that you have now but I've gone with a higher end airbrush for now uh, this one and will oh it's a air it's a Talon um, by however you pronounce that name I have no idea uh, anyway you say that you have gotten the tip clogged and it keeps bubbling up on the top here on the cup and it won't spray. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you how to clean it and how to take care of it as well. Uh, and that'll include taking the whole thing apart um, completely. That's probably the best way to clean it. Um, that's what I did after each paint session. And you will want to do that with lacquer thinner there's i gotta tell you that there's nothing better than lacquer thinner i mean i've tried a lot of other stuff and a lot of it does not clean very well um like mineral spirits things like that uh, alcohol it will not it will not clean your your oil-based paints at all because uh, they, they are made with oils instead of your acrylic based paints which are just water based you can you can get those down uh, and wipe them off easily and clean them in the airbrush uh, with things like alcohol alcohol denatured alcohol if you want to use that but overall like I said clean your enamel based products or paints with lacquer thinner and everything else I suggest that you clean your airbrush uh, after you switch uh, from enamel acrylic alclads uh, things like that clean your airbrush all the way uh, you don't have to clean it between spray sessions like when you're using a different color but do clean it when you're using different kinds of paints um, all right, first step, you want to take it apart. So you want to unscrew the back. Uh, that comes off completely off, you probably noticed. Uh, and you'll find that there's another bolt back here that holds the needle in place. You want to take that out completely and make, it, make sure you don't break it or bend it in any way. You got to take it out straight. Uh, and it looks like I have not cleaned this one actually in a while. Uh, I don't use this one much. I mean, I've only used it once or twice. I got it with my compressor. It was for free, basically. I mean, the compressor uh, I got for a Christmas gift, which was really nice. So it came with a compressor, and I don't really use it much. But you want to take it out uh, straight. Don't don't bend it. Don't uh, don't try to jam it out of there if it won't come out. Uh, put a little lacquer in there, like this lacquer thinner and then take it out because I mean it can get really dirty and stuck and dried up in there sometimes and it'll be hard to take out if you do not clean your airbrush regularly. Uh, another thing you have to take this part you see back here all the way out like all the way uh, it just unscrews uh, counterclockwise you can use your fingers if that doesn't work very well, um, you could take a cloth so you have better grip on it, uh, tweezers, uh, pliers, whatever you, whatever works best for you. I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, you want to unscrew that all the way 
and you will see this little tip in here uh, that comes out with a spring. You want to make sure you keep it uh, keep it intact and make sure you know which way it went in. So memorize that as well. Um, and then, of course, take the trigger out. That's your spraying trigger. Uh, and in here, this is where it's going to get probably the most... Uh, the most difficult to clean is the very tip of that. You also want to take this off, uh, the needle guard off, and clean that as well. I like to use uh, Q-tips, dip the Q-tip in lacquer thinner, and then scrub, uh, just scrub it in here uh, and get all the paint off. Uh, and as well for this front part, you want to take that off here but you want to make sure you don't rip the rubber band in any way um, or don't try to not to put lacquer thinner on that rubber band because it does weaken the rubber band with my other one uh, it did weaken it and it did break it so I had to get another rubber band and here where probably the hardest part comes uh, this this is actually where the needle goes into it's hard to see um, as you can see, I don't know. There you go. Uh, this is where it goes into, but dang, it's you will need your little tool that you have, uh, and you want to just unscrew it counterclockwise all the way, and you want to make sure you do not drop it, uh, and you want to take it, uh, put it into something small. Like a small bottle, if you have, if you have that, like it, it'll have to be a, a pretty small one. And really, make sure you do not lose this tip. This is what the needle goes into, and it does have a little rubber band on it. Uh, so put a little lacquer thinner into your bottle, your small bottle, and then put this in it. Uh, this is probably what is clogging your airbrush there is too much paint in there you have not cleaned it out in a while uh, probably days weeks months whatever uh, however often you clean your airbrush but you want to put this in the small bottle and put lacquer thinner in it uh, lacquer thinner do not use anything else this stuff cleans the best uh, I use it for everything uh, I even use to use it to thin out uh, enamel paint uh, yeah, you want to get the small bottle, put this in it, shake it around really well, uh, put a little bit in there, shake it out really well, leave it for an hour or so, um, make sure you do not lose it, and then after that, you want to get uh, a small a tooth, it's like a toothpick, it's like a, whatever it is, um, high-end toothpick, or like a little tiny, tiny toothbrush. Uh, in between your teeth. This is a friend of a friend of mine gave me this, uh, John Mason. He's on the, he follows my bills and stuff. But you want to take this, you want to dip it in the lacquer thinner, uh, and you want to just get in there as well as you can. Uh, just scrub that around. I mean, a lot of paint will come out after you have shaken it out and just scrub that all in it around it everything you want to get all the paint out of here uh, and then put it back into your bottle uh, after you've put new lacquer in that little bottle and shake it around again and leave it for about five minutes five minutes at most it really doesn't do a lot just make sure all the paint is out of there uh, remember do not lose this tip I mean these tips are uh, you probably will not find this kind of tip at your local hobby store because uh, a lot of hobby stores, I've not really seen these uh, being sold at hobby stores, so you want to make sure you do not lose this. And after that, uh, also take a Q-tip, and like I said this again, and you want to make sure you get into your brush, uh, brush it around there, uh, get all the paint out, dip it in the lacquer, get all the paint out in there, in there, uh, just take Q-tips, paper towels, whatever you use, I prefer Q-tips in these, they clean the best, um, take your lacquer thinner and clean all that out, and after you're done, let it dry, uh, 
You can blow it off. Uh, lacquer thinner dries really easy. It's like alcohol. You spill it and it'll dry really fast. Uh, unlike water. But anyway, you want to put it back together. Uh, whoops. Uh, you want to put this tip back on. Screw it in a tiny bit. And then the rest, you want to tighten it, but do not over tighten it so it snaps uh, with your tiny screwdriver here. Don't, so, yeah, don't over tighten it. And this, like I said, again, uh, make sure this how, make sure you know how this went in. The airbrush, uh, you want to take this uh, and then dip it in lacquer, of course, and then scrub that out as well. The paint gets in there sometimes. Uh, you want to get it out of there, clean it. So make sure your airbrush runs well. But again, uh, take your uh, take this part in there and stick it in and then screw it back in there. You want to make sure that this part goes in first. And not all the way because you do have to put your trigger in there. You want to stick that in. Second, uh, it's kind of hard in there to get it in there sometimes so that dangling piece at the end of the trigger that's hard to get in there you want to make sure that works well and then you want to screw it in all the way uh, make sure you have it in there all the way because it will uh, if it's not tight it will come uh, undone it's easy to do when you're unscrewing the back uh, you want to screw that in all the way and then when you put your needle in again do not bend it do not uh, do not push it in there jam it in there whatever uh, if it does not go in there very well I like to take a paper towel like a small paper towel put lacquer thinner on it and then wipe the wipe the needle off like this uh, going away from the point not like this because that's gonna screw with your po needle point and that might bend it, break it, damage it. Uh, and before you put this needle in, you wanna make sure you have that guard in there. So if you, in case you do drop the airbrush, you will not, you will not break that tip after you have that needle in there. And currently my airbrush is not clean, but I'm just showing you as an example, it will not go in there as easily when it's not clean. And when you do put the airbrush in, make sure this trigger is up all the way so that needle will slide in there smoothly. If it does not slide in there, mess with this a little bit. Make sure it goes in because sometimes if you jam it in there, it'll just push right into that uh, trigger and it'll bend that needle. But you wanna make sure you have it in there all the way, the guard on it all the way in tight so it doesn't come off. And then put this nut back in there Make sure the needle is in all the way, nut tightened all the way, and the back part in there, all nice and tight. You can also take off this bottom part. You don't need to, uh, but you can clean that in there as well. Uh, paint doesn't get in there, but just for any odd reason that you want to clean it and you know that it works or that you put in there everything in there correctly when this when you pull this back and it just goes right back you know that it's in there and when you press it down and again put everything together run lacquer through it a few times uh, connect it to the air compressor run it at about 20 psi 20 25 psi you want to make sure that it's blowing hard through it getting all that extra gunk in there that you might not have gotten out just to be on the safe side um, and that'll clean it all out you don't have to let it dry if you don't want to but put paint in there and mess with it see what see what it can do uh, if you've cleaned it enough uh, everything I told you it should clean it that's how I clean all my airbrushes this keeps falling off how I clean my airbrushes and it works every time uh, make sure you clean it regularly like I said uh, when switching from enamels to acrylics acrylics to enamels alclads uh, vice versa and everything like that clean it really well uh, and keep it cleaned when you put it away or don't use it for the day 
clean it before you put it away because that paint will dry and it will harden and it'll be a lot harder to clean at the end. But yeah, these uh, you can pick up at Walmart, your local store, um, anything like that. I mean, they come in pretty small sizes. Uh, they come in pretty big sizes as well. Uh, but I like to use that and make sure you put all your tools in there. Um, and Brian, like I've said, um, for the tip replacement, for the needle replacement, you'll want to buy a gift card, gift card at Walmart for about 20 bucks because the needle for one of these things is uh, around, it's eight, eight, nine dollars plus the shipping is ridiculous, costs just as much as the needle, uh, if not more. Uh, I have Amazon Prime, uh, but even then, um, sometimes they're not on Prime and will be extremely expensive for a needle like this, for an airbrush like this, which is not expensive overall, but it does work really well. Like I said, that's what I started out using. But yeah, you can buy these at Walmart, uh, Q-tips, Walmart paint, uh, the paper towels at Walmart. This also buy at Walmart, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, anything like that, lacquer thinner, it's only around six to seven dollars um real cheap uh this is i believe it's one quart so 946 mil millimeters or millimeters mills um i use it for everything cleaning all my tools uh even when i spray out clads i clean that clean the heck out of my airbrush because i've had it jam up before and just not spray correctly well i hope this video helped and that you can replace your your needle and make sure it does not happen again. Like I said, have your guard on it. Never, ever, 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 ever spray without the guard if you have a tendency to drop this because it will break, bend, etc. Uh, and you will not be able to clean it or uh, spray with it. It will be damaged. Um, so yeah, please keep the guard on it uh, if you have the tendency to drop it or whatever, however you break it. Um, I think I bent mine once uh, and I had to send it back and get another one. Um, but yeah, hope this video helped and everything I've told you, uh, like I said, keep it clean. Buy this stuff at Walmart, wherever, wherever you can get it, uh, Walmart places like that. Uh, and hope you can get your airbrush going again uh, pretty soon because love seeing your work and all the kits that you buy pretty cool all right well i'll see you next time talk to you later uh and ask me any more questions text uh just send me a message on facebook um regardless the stuff regarding this stuff um and have a nice day all right bye bye